Oh, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. You're just so pretty. <gasps> Blue. Make sure you like and subscribe and go follow me on Kick and Twitch. Those links are down below. Also my Patreon, where I post more content on there that I don't post here. Are you stupid or something? I'm as stupid as a stupid guys. Is that from here too? I'm Jenny. I'm Forrest. Forrest go up. Today I'm going to be reacting to more Family Guy clips. Even I can see that your sister's a huge bully. And trust me, I know more about getting bullied than anyone. You do? How? Oh, we get a little... Man, I love that Sean. Lois, I oh, worry this is minute. not a healthy environment for the children. Lois, I've seen enough. You're completely Coats. overwhelmed and you have four children. <laughs> 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 hey! I mean, they let him drive. Yeah, I, I forgot about this weekend trip. Is, is that something we still want to do? Of course I do. I mean, we've already had six nights out together. It'd be great to have three more. That's what I'm saying. That's that's what any guy wants. The same gal again and 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 again. And every gal wants the same guy who keeps getting fatter and fatter and fatter and fatter. Stop it right there, Lois. This is Family Guy. We only do the male side of the joke. And the Lord's Eleventh Commandment, Moses gets to be first in line at the buffet. What? Oh, seriously? I know, you guys, it's so lame, but that's what it says. <laughs> we'll never know. You okay? You guys okay? Great seats. Yeah, it's a whole different game when you sit down here. <laughs> is somebody else getting oh, a little okay. freaked out by all these scary stories? Yeah, even my spine is tingling. You guys, I'm scared. You remember that movie, The Blob? What if the blob? Let's get out of here. Good thing. Somebody must have locked us in. We're gonna die in here. That's a movie. Sorry, guys. Somebody emailed me a video of a sheep screaming. It's not a. Okay, well. <laughs> Where does it? Art, uh, don't feel so good. <laughs> Ew. Just when I thought he couldn't get any cooler, he goes, holy sh Oh, what, what, just, there's almost nothing left of him. And I just know I'm gonna be the one to have to identify the body. That's him. Poor guy. He looks like a bowl of tomato soup. Guy next to him died in a fire. He looks like a grilled cheese sandwich. These two poor these souls two. are the best combination for a rainy Saturday. Like, and then they just go all the way, like they don't stop. I'm not complaining about the joke, but it's like, oh my gosh, the shocking, like, I did not expect the splatter and the blood, but then right after the bowl, it's like, oh, it kind of looks like tomato soup. They just, that wasn't enough. They had to make a grilled cheese. They made a whole, like, brunch joke. The first joke was also funny. Uh, not so much Peter being, like, really just dumb, but Meg having to go over the whole, oh yeah, no, I'm really used to being bullied, and then having that whole extra they really could have made it longer like i actually think that that's one of the jokes that wouldn't have been really annoying if they milked it Giggity. like they do with other jokes or like the chicken fight scene that lasts for a really long time that actually has never made it into a compilation i don't think at least recently um but that one it could have been stretched on like how many clips are there that exist of him bullying meg maybe even too long maybe one episode but i still thought that her sense of humor was funny there's a condom in the pocket and it's used <laughs> Who else but Quagmire? <laughs> Damn it, I tried two things that all kids love. Coffee and old seed packets. And all any of you can do is stare at those Game Boy machines. No more screams. I'm locking those things up. Wait, you what? Oh, come on, what the hell? Oh, How else am I supposed to get my degree from the University of Phoenix? Credit card information University. and submit. Oh, no. And I'm a lawyer. No. <laughs> we find the defendant guilty of murder. Sorry. Okay. <gasps> Last night I did some personality assessments based on yesterday's session. And what I found was none of you couples are compatible with each other at all. They can all switch. Oh. No, no, no. That's not a good Only thing. Only the guys. But interestingly, you have high compatibility with other people in this group. Yeah. 
Oh my god, that is crazy. More mac and cheese? Him and Julian? Keep it, going. Keep it going, give me the tray. Wait, so what happened? I just think you're a really cool island, and I'd like to get to know- Oh god! Oh, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry, you're just so pretty. You said it Please don't tell the other islands. Fire. Which island is that? Uh, I think it's number six. Wait, is that the same number six that had sex with Dr. Balta? I don't, I've been, I've been watching this the same exact amount of time you have, Lois. I don't know anything you don't. What does that green button on the far panel do? How in God's name would I know that? I don't know! It's green, so it probably makes something go. <laughs> you heard me right. Cancel my insurance. I've been in this location no, for 40 years, and doing? never once have I broken a lamp. God, I hope he's got insurance. Of course he's got insurance. He's been at this location for 40 years. <laughs> okay, well... Yes, I mean, you heard me right. Cancel my husband's life insurance. He's been in perfect health for 40 years. We're selling the lamp store and going to travel. Oh, you know where? That entire thing is unfortunate. I need to think, maybe I'm late to like catching on to this, that the creators of Family Guy are really just dumping their problems in the show. No? <laughs> Felt like... Specific. Um, something's really funny. It felt like they were almost discussing something like Game of Thrones, and she's asking who all the characters are and what family do they belong to, or something. And it just seemed cute, like them going back and forth. We don't really see them watch TV, usually just having dumb antics. So that one actually felt like one of the maybe not necessarily few, but not as common, relatable scenarios. Yes, you heard me right. Cancel my husband's life insurance. He's been in perfect health for 40 years. We're selling the lamp store and going to travel. Oh, Peter, where are you? I thought we were gonna go after Becca. Way ahead of you, Lois. I just cut her brakes. What? Don't you think that's a little dangerous? Hey, you're the one who said we should try to ruin her marriage. What's that? Oh, I, I just ran a red light. My car won't slow down for some reason. Jeez, I'm going like 95. Peter, are you sure you didn't cut your brakes? Well, that's ridiculous. Why would I cut my own? Kids, get out of the way! I can't stop! <sighs> Mick. <laughs> Look at that. He has been in the car way too much this episode. Why is he going home? Back. Peter, I heard! Kids! Kids, it's happening! Get your coats! This is what we practiced for! Yeah! <laughs> oh, she's invited? I love you, Dad! I love you too, sweetheart. None of the past matters. What is it? Oh, Make God. Real? I think it looks good. You are, you are just trying anything, aren't you? Just searching for an identity, man. And you think this is going to be it, huh? Oh, God, whatever. <laughs> oh, so I thought funny. I was dead. I even pictured my own funeral. Don't. Oh, my God. Grandma got run over by a reindeer. I don't know, Chris. I don't know why he wanted this, but we're honoring your father's wishes. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna miss my daddy. There's too much there to, like, comment on. I really liked the Stewie one. Their more subtle jokes are really just the best. Him just... I can't, I don't know how to explain it. That one was just really good. One of my favorites in the compilation. I also noticed that this compilation started with her being bullied and then, um, like, ended with her being bullied. Well, not even so much the start. It was just her reflecting on how she's been bullied a lot in the past to her father. And then at the end of it, her father's dead and he still bullies her. It's like a full circle. Um, but that's it, I think, for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all next time. Bye -bye, baby.